Yo, what is this? Really? We thought this was stuck, but we got something on here. Oh, yeah. Well, that's at least one of them on, right? Is that two? Two, baby. No, that's one big oh, ass one. God. Oh! No! Oh, <laughs> that was hell big. No. Oh. So we're out here at Pillar Point in Half Moon Bay on the North Jetty. Uh, this jetty is really good for going for rock crabs. The South Jetty is good for going for Dungeness crabs. Uh, one thing about fishing on jetties and piers is that you don't need to have a fishing license. All right, so uh, the setup that we've got today for crab snaring, we've got mackerel as bait, and we've got squid as bait, and we've got these really good crab snares. These are the best snares that I've ever used. Um, the person who sells these sells them for $12.50 and they're like seriously the best. Like I can literally use four pieces of squid in one of these snares for an hour and I'll still be catching crabs. So uh, check out the guy who sells them, $12.50 each, links in the description. So one reason why I like crab snaring so much is because it's so easy to rig your line. You don't have to tie any fancy knots or anything like that. All you gotta do is take a snap swivel and tie a polymer knot to it. And this is the strongest knot for braid too. I think it holds like 99% of its strength. So that's it. That's it to get crab snaring. You just cut off that loose end, attach your amazing crab snare to it, put a weight on and then all you do is put your bait in the snare and that's it yeah so i think that's pretty much all that i'm going to talk about now the rest of the video is going to be mainly just fishing for crabs and if i think of any tips then i'll put them in season of crab snaring. Alright, so we're about to reel in this first cast that I made. Uh, one uh, thing that you should remember when you're fishing for rock crabs is to reel it in as fast as you can. So after you cast it out, just leave it there for six, seven minutes. And when you're going to bring it in, just bring it in fast. Don't do it slow nor stop or else it's more likely it's going to get stuck on some rocks or some seaweed. So let's see what I got here. First, reel it in right now. Oh, no, I got nothing. I got, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> uh, there was a big one on there. There was a big ass crab and he was grabbing onto a rock, but then he just got off the snare. So that's how it happens sometimes. Got one, got one, got one for sure. Got one, let's see. Oh, you got one? Got a small one, huh? Let's see, your first rock crab today. Let me see that. It's a female, but it's over four inches, so for sure it's a keeper. Crab number one. Red it is. It's a kelp crab. Every time you reel the snare in, just make sure that these loops are up, facing up. Got one right here. Right in between. 
between those. Oh, that's nice. Even move it. He's so strong. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's like a. <laughs> it's a female, huh? It's a female. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> so it was just like I was thinking that North Jetty wasn't so good for Dungeness crabs. We actually didn't catch any Dungeness crabs, but we did catch a lot of rock crabs. So we caught 14 rock crabs in about three hours using squid and mackerel. Um, the Dungeness crab season opens November 6th on that Saturday. So just a couple more weeks. So get ready.